Number 70. Your RL circuit has a characteristic time constant of 20 nanoseconds and a resistance of 5 mega ohms. What is the inductance of the circuit? So anytime you're dealing with an RL circuit, you're, you have a resistor and an inductor in the same circuit. All right. So there's certain formulas now that apply to these types of circuits, and one of them is known as the tau formula. The time constant will be equal to the inductance divided by the resistance. So if they're asking us to find the inductance, I got to solve this for L. In order to do that, I would cross multiply this uh, resistance on over, right? And therefore now I have that the inductance here is equal to the resistance multiplied by the time constant. So the resistance has to be in ohms. They gave you mega ohms, so simply take that and multiply it by 10 to the sixth. They gave you the time constant of 20 nanoseconds, but you know we need that in seconds, so take 20 and multiply it by 10 to the minus ninth. And then just simply take out the calculator and do 5 times 10 to the 6th. Multiply then by 20 times 10 to the minus 9th, 0.1. All right, so the answer here is 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.100 Henry's is going to be the inductance. Okay, so that takes care of now letter A. Let's do letter B. What resistance would give you a 1 nanosecond time constant, perhaps needed for... Okay, whatever. Um, so again, uh, what they're asking us is for resistance, but they are assuming that the inductance has remained the same. So in other words, we have to use the formula again, that the time constant will equal the inductance divided by the resistance. In this case, we're solving for the resistance, so we're going to cross multiply the resistance on over, and then we're going to remove the time constant on down. So here's the formula. So this is the inductance that we just found, 0.1, divided by now the new time constant, 1 nanosecond, but you know we need that in seconds, so simply multiply that by 10 to the minus 9th. And when we do the division here, we're going to get a value of about 1 times 10 to the 8 now, um, and that will be in terms of ohms. Okay, you can convert it into mega ohms or do whatever you want with it. Guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. Appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. Be well.